Hi you guys, it's me Shantae and welcome back to Shake It Up with Shantae. If you guys have been here before, welcome back as always. And if this is your first time tuning in, welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you guys as well. Look, listen, today I got a really simple, quick, easy recipe for you guys. I'm going to show y'all how I make my pork fried rice. Without further ado, y'all, let's shake something up. All right, so what I'm going to be using here in my pork fried rice, I got some mushrooms. Any kind of mushrooms you like, these are sliced white mushrooms. I got some onion powder, of course, some kikamon soy sauce. I have some Worcestershire sauce, some salt, some garlic powder, granulated garlic rather. rather. I have a couple of eggs. I have some um, onion. I have some carrots over here. I have some green onion. I have some day old rice that I cooked yesterday for this dish and you're gonna need some day old rice or earlier cooked in a day rice. <laughs> you don't want to use fresh rice because it's still kind of wet and sticky. So you want your rice to sit in the refrigerator and kind of dry out a little bit. Now for my meat that I'm using, you can use chicken, beef, shrimp, steak, whatever you want, but I'm gonna be using some um, pork steak. This is what I'm going to be using. Pork steak for my pork fried rice. So what I'm going to do is take this. Let me just show y'all how it looks. If you've never had pork steak before, this is how it looks. And it's very inexpensive. See, it was $2.54 for three of these. I normally put these on a grill. And if you have never tried these on the grill, try these on the grill. They are the best. But I will be using this for my pork fried rice. This is what I'm gonna be using. I don't think I need that much. I'm just gonna use two. Let me go wash, rinse, however y'all wash, rinse your meat. Do your meat the same. All right, so I've washed, rinsed my meat off. I'm just gonna pat it dry because I wanna season this. So I'm just gonna pat it dry a little bit. And as you can see, this pork steak is, is very thin. It's a very thin piece of meat. All right. I'm going to lay that there and I'm going to season it. But first, let me turn my um, pan on so it can start getting hot. Okay. I'm going to season this with a little salt. And you can really season your meat, your pork or whatever. You can season it with anything. I'm just gonna season mine with a little salt and a little bit of um, garlic. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna put my, um, let me wash my hands real quick. One more time, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna get a little bit of oil. And I'm going to put it in my skillet. You don't need much for your um, pork steaks because they are already kind of oily. You don't need much. I'm going to let that get nice and hot. While that's getting hot, I'm going to go ahead over here and start cutting up my onions. I'm going to only use a little bit of onion, so... Let me just peel this real quickly. I'm just going to use a little bit of this onion because I have that green onion over there and I want to use that. Now, when you're making your fried rice, any kind of rice, you can put basically whatever you want to put in it. Um, I don't like peas. I'm not a fan of the peas and the carrots when I go to certain restaurants and get my... um shrimp fried rice, chicken fried rice, pork fried rice, or whatever it is, I don't put get any peas and carrots in my rice. But I will be putting a little bit of my carrots in there because I shredded them. So I don't like the big chunks when I go to places and they put the big chunks of um, carrots or the peas in my rice. I just like, give me onions, extra onions, and I'm good. I like onions in my fried rice. But my son told me, he was like, well, I ain't fried rice without the peas and the carrots. But huh, I just don't like, I'm not a sweet pea person. I don't like sweet peas. So I typically don't get them in mine. Okay, so then I'm going to um, cut these up. 
I'm going to cut this part off. And I'm going to cut this up to about right there. I'm going to add that to that part. And I'm going to save this and add this later, this dark green part. I only need about that much. Okay. All right. Let me check and see if my oil hides. Not quite. We're going to give that a minute so that it can get hot. All right. So my oil is hot, y'all. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put my pork steak in here. And this is going to cook. Woo. This is going to cook pretty fast, y'all. So I'm going to add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce to this. It's going to help this give it a little flavor. Alright y'all, so now I'm going to get rid of the flip this. One side. Woo! Once I cook this on one side, y'all, let it get brown, cook it over, flip it on the other side. Just like that, and just leave it alone. Let it cook till it get brown. All right, y'all. So these are done, just like so. And they are boneless, y'all. They are boneless. These does not take long to cook at all. Just like pork chops, they do not take long to cook. So I'm gonna place these. Right over here on this plate, so I'm ready for them. Let them cool down before I cut them up. All right, now, now I'm going to take my same skillet, y'all. I'm not washing anything out. I'm going to put my onion in here. If you want, you can um, dice up your uh, mushrooms if you like. I'm going to give mine just a quick rough chop because they are kind of big. I'm going to throw them right in here with these onions and soak up this seasoning. Right in here with that. Get all of that goodness out of there. You know how you go to those Chinese restaurants in the hood? And they got that dirty, dirty rice for you. Woo, honey, that be the best Chinese fried rice, baby. That be the best Chinese fried rice. I'm going to turn it down just a tad little bit. And I'm going to add a little bit more oil to it. Just a little bit. That's it. Honey, it smells so, so good. Mm, 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 mm. It smells so good, y'all. Let it cook for just a couple minutes. Just a couple minutes. So what I didn't show y'all, I was gonna add some of this on better than bouillon seasoned vegetable base. I'm gonna add some of this. Maybe like a tablespoon. Add a little bit of that in there. Get that all worked up in there. This is not going to only add flavor, which is going to add an amazing flavor. It is going to add a little bit of color as well to your rice. So we got that going. Okay, now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of mixed garlic. If you want to do fresh garlic, you can. That's about a tablespoon of mixed garlic, okay, now all of that is good, I'm going to 
go ahead, add my rice. Now this is day old jasmine rice, y'all. This is day old jasmine rice that I cooked for this yesterday. You can use any kind of rice, but I like jasmine rice. I'm gonna put all this rice in here. Might as well, might as well. Ooh, y'all. Let me put some um seasonings in here. Hold on one second. I'm wash my hands real quickly. Onion powder. About two tablespoons. Garlic powder. Just a dab of salt. Just a dab. That's it. I'm gonna go ahead and add my carrots. Go ahead and add my green onion. I'm gonna stir this. And I'm gonna chop my pork up real quickly and toss that right in here, y'all. So I'm just gonna cut my pork up just like this. It's boneless, so you just chop it up, honey. Just chop it up just like that. Just like so. Mm, let me taste it for y'all. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let me go over here and crack my head real quickly. I'm gonna give these a quick toss. Now you can beat these, stir them up in a bowl and beat them however you want to do that. Which is ever easiest for you. But this is easier for me. I don't like too many eggs in mine, y'all, so. But I know everybody like eggs and they fry rice. So I'm just gonna do a little bit. And y'all, I ain't even put no, uh, look how brown this is. And I haven't even put any soy sauce in here or anything yet. My eggs are done. Toss these eggs right over in here. And I'm gonna put my pork in here. Just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my soy sauce. You can add as little or as much as you like. I like a lot of soy sauce, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. Ooh, this that Chinese rice you get in the hood, neighborhood, baby. When you go to the hood and you go to them Chinese restaurant and you get you them 10 p lemon pepper wings and you get you some of that fried rice, whether it be chicken, steak, shrimp, beef, pork. And I get me some pork fried rice, pork fried rice, and I get me 10 lemon pepper wings, baby. That's that right there, y'all. That's it. Right there. That's it. Simple, really quick, easy. Put whatever you want to put in it. Let me put some on the plate, y'all, and give it a taste. All right, y'all. It's ready. My pork pie rice from the hood is ready. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. All light and fluffy. Look at that. Oh, my goodness, y'all. This is going to be amazing. I have not tried it yet, but I know it's going to be delightful. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. 
Mm. Mm. When I say season perfectly, mm. 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 baby, that pork just did something to this. Mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Y'all, mm. you don't need nothing else to go with this. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh my goodness. It's so good, y'all. Mm. Woo woo! This is that Chinese rice from Good Ghetto. Mm. Oh my goodness. Y'all gotta make y'all from this. If you know how to make. Fry right before. Now you got your easy, simple, easy peasy, simple recipe to follow. Let me know if y'all try this recipe. When I tell you this is so, so good, I mean, this is absolutely amazing. Now you can always substitute because everything is substitutable. Substitute your vegetables. If you want to add peas in there, you can with your peas and your carrots. You can add all of that if you don't want no onions, you want some mushroom. You can substitute all of that, honey, because all of this stuff is substituted. You make it how you like it. You make it out of what you want to taste. You put the seasoning in there that you like. I'm just showing y'all how to do it Shantae way. If you've enjoyed this video so far, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have not done so, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please share. And don't forget to turn that notification bell on so every time I upload one of these easy peasy recipes, you'll be notified. Until the next video, I'll see you guys then. Enjoy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm.